Hey, this is Amcan Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Mix Speed button to customize it and to add some cool features. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S10e on most newer Samsung devices that's included, and it's annoying. Uh, you could either use a Bixby Remapper app to have it so it doesn't open Bixby at all, but I, most of them cost money and they're not usually worth, worth it. Uh, right now, if you long tap it, then it opens Bixby, and then I set an action for short tap using Tasker. I will show you how to do that in today's video. First of all, you could go to Settings, Advanced Features, Bixby Key. Here, I'm going to zoom up a little. Right now, I said double press to open Bixby, Bixby, sorry, and single press to open Tasker Secondary, which is the Tasker additional app. You could set it to run a quick command using Bixby Routines. Or you could set it to open any app you like that's installed on the phone. It doesn't let you install or use Google Assistant or some other apps. There are other solutions to that. I don't think it's necessary, so I just set it to task or secondary. And now you want to search Tasker, and you'll see both of these apps. Tasker Secondary is just a bonus kind of app that the developer added just for this use case. And then using the Tasker app, Whenever the secondary app opens, you could set a specific task. So that's exactly what I did. So I go to profiles, and then you add a new one. Uh, let's say test, and you search event, app, secondary app open. You'll need to enable some settings. So first do the secondary app, and then you'll need allow it, and I'll explain a few other features about it. So I already set it up, and I already set up a big speed task. task. Originally, I wanted to either launch the camera or open a flashlight. And then I list several actions that are useful to have. So instead of just doing it based on time or based on some arbitrary event, I decided to open a menu. And so you add a new element. You could search menu. Scene is also not bad, but then you need to set up individually. Menu just looks better. So this is a new menu. And you can set the title to whatever you want. The lay layout I'm using is the icon grid menu. And I'm going to lower the brightness. And it looks like it's fluid. But in reality, there's a little line between each button. It's uh, not the end of the world. You might be able to see it now. Uh, the timeout, I just left it as is. The items is the important part. So I set the first one to grayscale. I will leave more information in the description of how to do this and I will try to export the whole task so it'll be easier for you if you want to know exactly how I did it. So I used another, it basically opens another task because I use the grayscale at night also to just turn the screen to monochrome. So it just references that one. The icon, you could use basically whatever icon you have. You could download more ones. I just used the material one that I found for color. Uh, camera just launches the camera app. Torch is the flashlight and it just toggles it. Reboot, it's a little different. I have a extender and because I'm on a relatively large house, the problem is the extender doesn't always pick up the Wi-Fi signal because it's not in the best place, unfortunately. So I set up using an HTTP request. Originally I was using a REST task, which is a third-party plugin, which is quite simple. But now it's deprecated, so you need to go to HTTP request, uh, post, and then URL, and then the refer and the operation. I basically just used Wireshark or another app, and I used their website to actually change it. Second. Here. And then I used the app to actually change and implement it until it worked. And then from the HTTP request, you get the response code. And if it's 200, that means it's successful. And then it reboots it. Uh, you could change it up however you want to. And that's about it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one.